welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this was a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're going to use these tarot cards to do a why didn't they work check on Jude Law, Sienna Miller. This was a viewer requested video. Let's go. Okay, so this was a viewer requested video and a mighty fine one. Sometimes the most obvious subject for a video just completely eludes me. So thank goodness for you guys. Thank goodness for me reading all those comments, right? So we just did a video on Jude Law and what's her face? Cameron Diaz from when they shot the holiday. So I'll link it at the end as we all do. And of course, of course, of course, Jude Law, when was this? Jude Law and Sienna Miller, they were dating, I feel like in the early aughts, but that's what I always push things to that are like in the distant past. You know, I'm like, oh, it must have been the early aughts when they were dating. So they were dating for, I think, a couple years. And they were that like hot British couple where like he was an actor and a really well-respected actor and she was a model and an actress and they'd do these cool roles and then they'd be shot by the paparazzi. And that was when Sienna Miller was in her bohemian phase where like, they'd shoot her and she'd be barefoot walking a dog on the streets of London. And at that age, you know, I was like, like I would look at these photos of her in magazines and I would just be like, oh my God, like she's so cool. She has like balls for days, like to walk barefoot on the streets of London while being photographed. But then, you know, of course I got a little bit older and I was like, well, maybe that's a little pretentious and like attention seeking. And you know, also we don't have to label it. We don't have to judge it. We don't have to label it. We can just say that was the thing that was. Now, of course, I, if my memory serves me correctly, I think that they dated for two years, but that's what I say about all the couples that dated in the early aughts. I, I'm like, oh, they, did, they dated for about two years. Let me get my phone. Okay, so, all right, well, hang on. They met on the film Alfie, that I remember because I had a ex-boyfriend that was obsessed with that film. So they dated for a year and then they were engaged on Christmas day of the same year. Wow, he proposed to her on Christmas day with a gold band and nine diamonds. Then of course, a few months later, we had Nanny Gate where it was exposed that Jude Law was having an affair with the nanny of his children. Because as we've established, like Jude Law has six children from three different mothers, or was it four different mothers? I, I made a note here. He has three baby mamas, I, three or four. I, I, I can't read my own handwriting. So yeah, like no joke. So it was the cheating scandal that rocked the world because we were just like, he was with Sienna Miller. She has in her prime. She's still in her prime. I'm sorry I said that awful thing, but like she was just so gorgeous. They look so good together. I was confused. You were confused. Okay, but then they reconciled and then they split up for good in 2011. That part I don't remember, but maybe that's because I got a life back then, maybe. And maybe at that point after they reconciled, they were just keeping their relationship on the low and they were just keeping things super private for the success of the relationship. I mean, we know that Jude Law has been a busy man since then. He's now married to Philippa Cohen, who is a business psychologist or something like that. Okay, cool. Sienna Miller is not married. This is what's really interesting about the two of them is that, is that she did not marry and she has a child with one guy and a child with another guy. Hey, go for it, sure, whatever. And he has a very similar pattern. I mean, he has, of course, been married. He's been married twice and he's engaged now. He's married again. I don't, I can't read my own handwriting, but there's a lot of women. There's three or four women in his past that he has children with, right? We established that. So before we take a look at Sienna Miller's chart, let's take another look at Jude Law's chart. So here we have Jude Law. He is a Capricorn. He is a Sagittarius rising. His moon is in Libra. Not to spoil the surprise, but Sienna Miller is also a Capricorn. Cameron Diaz was a Virgo with her moon in Taurus. So what does this mean? Jude Law likes earth sign women. Jude Law is an earth sign. Earth signs will often gravitate together. So it's, you know, the same element, usually very harmonious. Some elements prefer harmonizing elements like earth and water, fire and air. But I often find that earth signs will gravitate towards each other and be like, I'm going to date another earth sign. I mean, you know, very few people have that conversation with themselves, but they, they gravitate to a person who has the values that earth signs will often hold in high regard like stability, nice stuff, luxury, dependability, being in touch with reality. 
I mean, Jude Law was banging the nanny, so I don't know how in touch with reality he was, but let's keep going. When we look at Jude Law's chart, what's very, very notable about him and love relationships and just general matters of the heart is, number one, he has a malefic in the seventh house. The seventh house is the place of committed relationships. So the ancients would have regarded that like, ooh, that's not easy. So that suggests that relationships and being monogamous or consistent or showing up for relationships might be a challenge to Jude. And Saturn is also in a retrograde in the seventh house. So that would suggest that he might need a lot of do-overs. There might be revisions or trying again or trying to make up for things uh, from the past. So I thought that was very interesting. The ruler of his seventh house, which is Mercury, is in the first house, okay? So that would suggest that relationships would be something that he would strongly identify with if it's showing up in the first house of like health, self, identity but it's separating from Venus in the first house. So the ruler of relationships is separating from essentially the planet that governs relationships. That's just kind of like the catch-all for relationships. So that just suggests that this is gonna be a hurdle for him in life. Distance, separation, trying again, needing to overcome. And just keep in mind that when we look at our charts, nothing is written in stone. Like nothing's like, oh, you're always gonna have these problems. You're always gonna be a screw up when it comes to relationships. It's like, no, it's just certain things might not come as easily to you or it might not feel as comfortable for you in this sort of like area arena of life. Now, let's take a look at Sienna Miller's astrological chart. So I spoiled the surprise, she's a Capricorn. We don't know her rising sign, like it just hasn't been confirmed. If anyone knows it or has a link to where we can find it, like in an interview, come on board, put it in the comments. So she's a Capricorn, moon in Aquarius, also has Venus in Aquarius, very telling. So she's never married. Now a Capricorn can be a very traditional sign, it can be very old fashioned, but Aquarius is not. You know, and both of these signs, Capricorn and Aquarius, are very much like, I'm going to do what works for me. I'm going to do what I see fit. And I guess, you know, not getting married has worked out for her. She's like, I see that that is the best path for me right now. So what's also interesting is that her moon is making an applying aspect to Venus in Aquarius. So that would suggest that like when she falls in love, like she really falls. She it is she's all in emotionally, like heart, soul, like she really puts her everything into it in perhaps a very inventive and innovative way because it's in Aquarius. So that would suggest that like when the cheating scandal or any other disappointments and matters of the heart that she would take very, very, very hard. It would be very, very, it would hurt her very, very deeply as it would most people, but her perhaps especially so. And that it suggests also that because Venus and the moon are in Aquarius, that in order to heal, she would have to understand. She would have to have analysis and some sort of intellectual understanding about what happens, why it happens in order to heal and move on. Let's start pulling some cards on these crazy kids. Okay. Sienna, Jude, Sienna, Jude, helping our hurting situation. And what was the bottom line about why these two crazy kids didn't work? Okay. So Sienna's external vibe towards Jude. Oh, okay, this tells us a lot. All right, so seven of cups upright. All right, very telling, right? So this was her vibe, her energy towards him. So not being clear, things weren't clear. They were engaged very quickly, but this suggests that like maybe she didn't know 100% what was going on. And also like maybe she held them too high in this sort of like illusory regard. So the seven of cups is like about fantasy and magic and mystery and imagining what's a blessing, what's a curse, like what do I want? Not being clear on these things. You know, she was 23 when they were dating, right? Like that was, she was super young. She was just like, you know, she was a teenager five minutes ago. So this suggests, this really, really tells us a lot about like what was going on in her headspace towards Jude. Like he was like this amazing, older, more experienced actor. She didn't quite know what was going on. She didn't have, probably have her boundaries. So it can be a card of like illusion and fantasy, but also like not setting clear boundaries or parameters with other people and just mean like, I don't know. Okay, interesting. All right. Jude's external vibe towards Sienna. Okay, interesting. So, Ten of Wands. 
So they they got engaged very quickly, right? I mean, within a year of dating. Ten of Wands, like he felt like he was carrying some sort of burden. Gee, thanks, buddy. So he felt like he was overwhelmed, maybe with like his ex-wife and their children, and that he was carrying this burden all by himself. And he was losing his way, and he was afraid to ask for help. He was afraid to maybe admit weakness about his situation. Like, but there's something about, like, feeling burdens and over-responsible for things and not asking for help, not sharing, losing his way. Okay, clearly. All right. Sienna's internal vibe towards Jude. All right. I mean, this was very much like what we saw. I mean, it's not an ooey-gooey card. So we got these Seven of Wands in reverse. So this is a card of going with the flow, not making a fuss. You know, upright, this is very much a card of like expressing your individuality as this person's clearly wearing different shoes of different types. You know, standing up to the maddening crowd. But in reverse, it's very much about like going with the current, going along to getting along, not making a fuss, just like being chill. So this is very telling, right? So even though she's a Capricorn and he's a Capricorn and they can have power struggles, for sure, two Caps dating each other. I mean, sure. Because he was older, probably more famous at the time, he was probably the one calling the shots and that she was the one just being like, sort of like, okay, you know, there's probably an element of that. And, you know, the sense of being swept off your feet as this person is off their feet. If you hear rustling, Mr. Peach is just bopping and flopping around his food as he likes to do. So very, very telling. I mean, like, when you're 23 and this, like, handsome Hollywood actor, like, asks you to marry him and you, you're in love, like, you probably don't stop and think, like, is this a good idea? You're probably just going along with things, as that card suggests. Okay. Jude's internal vibe towards Sienna. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, two of cups in reverse. So, yeah, as we've said a lot on this channel, you, we don't want to see the cups cards in reverse for these readings. I mean, it's not always despair, but it's often not great. So... The bond was there. The, un the union was there, right? Like the spark that brought them together. So the twos are very young. But when it's in reverse, it's destabilized. It's wonky. It's out of balance. It's questioning itself. Like the, the love was there, the partnership, the care, all those things. But it's not something that you can necessarily build upon for the future. Okay, interesting. All right. And what was helping or hurting the situation? Oh, okay. Well, we got the chariot. So is this a helping card? Is this a hurting card? There's a doggedness here about moving forward, about like, we're going to do this. We're going to fix this. Like onwards, forward, like the future. Let's keep going. Let's keep doing this. Like, it's almost like they're suggesting that they both wanted the relationship to succeed and they both kept kind of like investing in it and pushing it and cracking the whip to move it forward when maybe it shouldn't have, you know? I wonder if they look back on the relationship and were like, oh, those were the wasted years, you know? Okay, and what was the bottom line about why these two didn't work? Hmm, mm hmm, hmm. That's interesting. This is really an interesting way of putting it. So, we got the eight of pentacles. So, maybe it was just too much work. Like, they had, like, maybe the guides are being very literal here. They're saying, like, it was just too much work, you know, to make it work. You know, sometimes a couple, like, has one good year, one good six months, and then, like, they try to base an entire relationship off of it where it's just not going to work. So it may just be the guides are saying it was just too much work. It could also be the inverse, which is that they were both too busy with their own work. Their Capricorns love to work. They love status and climbing and achievement and progress and building something. So it may be the opposite meaning, which is that neither of them were investing enough in the relationship, that they were determined to move forward with it, but were not investing it. They were investing in themselves. They were investing in their own careers and not able to drive the relationship forward. Or it could mean the opposite. They were driving it forward, but it was too much work. So I'm inclined to believe the former. They maybe weren't putting enough work in, that they were focused more on their careers, 
Because if you look historically, they both had pretty big careers, even after they reconciled. And it was kind of like, well, when were you together? So that's my take on this. So that's what I've got for you guys. Comment below. Let me know your take on the cards, particularly the final card and its interpretation. Let me know if you remember the early aughts when they were dating and what you thought of them and Sienna's bohemian look. Like and subscribe. And as always, we'll do this again.